Hey guys, it's Sam. I just got home and my imperfect produce box was waiting for me. So I thought I would do a video. I'll probably stop doing these videos every week. Maybe I'll just do a monthly video. Um, I am going to actually skip a few boxes. I kind of want to go to a regular grocery store. This has been great to supplement what's in my freezer and what's in my pantry and to have just some freshness. But I do just want to go to a grocery store. Um, they don't sell the yogurt that I like. I love the brown cow ones. So I want to stock up, stock up on that. But this has been really nice and I use it to help me kind of menu plan for the following week. So I'm going to share with you as I pull out things what's for next week's dinners. And I got an email that they started selling dairy, so there's a lot of milk options, and I love Organic Valley, so they have that, which is nice to know that I could get. Um, and I don't have to, so I don't know if I've made this clear in the few bit in the couple of videos that I made, but you don't. Let's say you order, you sign up for the large option. You don't have to get a large. You could just pick what you like. Uh, the shipping is going to be the same regardless of you, if you order more or less. Actually, extra large might be two dollars more shipping, but it's basically going to be the same. Um, so I want to just make that clear. But let's get started. I first time that I got bread from Imperfect Produce, I thought I would try it. This looks really interesting. This is Dave's Killer Bread, and it is white bread done right. Yeah, you just always hear about how white bread is so bad for you. And I try to get 100% white wheat or whole wheat or whole grain or something like that. But I thought I would try this and we'll see. It says here five super grains, quinoa, spelt, rye, millet, millet, barley, no bleach flour, no high fructose corn syrup. So it looks pretty good. Then Box. Oh my God. I have two boxes here, first time. I will show you the veggies. So this is one of the veggies that I'm gonna be using, broccoli. And I wasn't sure, I knew I, I'm gonna use broccoli. I'm just not sure how I'm going to use it. Maybe with a steak or with pasta, but definitely gonna be using that. Next is this big, oh, and I have two of them. And this is one that I have to, oh, so when I was doing this week's box, it kept on telling me things were out of stock and I spoke to somebody and they were like, oh yeah, you just have to keep on refreshing. Some people might take it out of their cart and this happened to be one of the items. I wanted to get two heads and I'll probably either saute it. This is going to be for another dinner. Uh, I'll saute it or um, put it in a salad. So that is another. And then I have spaghetti squash. That will be a vegetable for a side, maybe with fish. And then summer squash, and there's four of them in there. And that's another one that was out of stock and I have to keep on refreshing. Then we have sugar snap peas. This, unfortunately, I could not get two of. This is a little bit small for my family. I would have, have like at least two, possibly even three. Again, I steam this or saute it with a little bit of garlic and possibly this, since this one is so small, I'll pair it with another vegetable and maybe a fish night or something or chicken okay then we have there's a few apples in here look how tiny this apple is it's really small it's for made for a child so there's a few of these then there's also a few tomatoes I have been um, really liking big tomatoes lately so I saw that they had it they had beef steak tomatoes last week which I really love but this time they just had I forgot what they said. I think they call regular stuff conventional tomatoes. I mean conventional whatever the veggie is. I also got some green onions or scallions. Always like to have these on hand. And this is like a nice manageable, manageable bunch. Sometimes at, the, at grocery stores they're like, oh buy three for 99 cents. And you always feel like you need to buy the three. Anyway. Uh, bunch of carrots I think it was one pound of carrots always could use carrots for soups and another side vegetable uh, Valencia orange I already showed you the bread I don't know why I put it back in the box I also for the first time got beans in cans and this is the Sento brand and I got cannelloni and black beans and I got a few of these I thought I could put them into soups or again another vegetable side or maybe make it with like a like a rice kind of Mexican inspired dish. Also again, not again, also I bought pasta. They had a really good, 
a great price, 99 cents. So I got two bags of penne. We love that. And then, oh, and then one more thing in here. Mandarin oranges. And look how cute these are. They are tiny. Um, so got a bunch of these. I think that was, there's, it looks like there's about eight or nine in there. And I believe that's everything. Yeah, so I do really like getting these boxes. And it's, again, it's been a great supplement to what's in my pantry, with what's in my pantry and what's in the freezer. But I don't, I wish if they, ha if they had more stuff that I was looking for, like brown cow yogurt and uh, lentils that weren't, it's not expensive, but I know I could get them for cheaper. So um, I wish they had more of a selection and um, the, the, the things that they do sell, I wish they were a little bit less expensive, but I guess you, you, you know, you're paying for service and somebody's coming to your door. So I got to keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy this box and it doesn't hurt to try it out if it's in your neighborhood. I know it's not everywhere. And I have to say I have enjoyed um, using this stuff. The fruit though has not been my favorite. The veggies I quite like and they also, this was also 99 cents. So I got the, that's why I got the beans. And I, don't, I didn't have to carry it inside. I mean, I had to carry the box inside, but I didn't have to like go to the store and get it. So that was really, really nice, the convenience of it. Um, I think that's it. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.